Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dylan again and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining the channel. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to ask you if you could subscribe to the channel by just clicking on the button below and hitting subscribe because it's really going to help me in bringing you a lot more content. So by now you might be wondering why am I holding an Oculus Quest on my right hand? And the reason is because I'm going to be doing videos on Oculus Quest development. I'm going to walk you through how to get the device set up so that we can push a Unity build to it and also what we need to do in Unity to get going. So let's jump into Unity and I start working on it. All right, guys, so let me show you everything that you're going to need to get going with the Oculus Quest. So I already installed the minimum requirements, but I want to show you what I installed. And at the same time, I didn't want to have you waiting for me to get things going. But I'm going to show you some of the components that you will need. So if you go and click on the and open the Unity Hub and then click on Add Modules, I can show you all the components that you're going to need. So of course, you're going to need the minimum version of Unity that is recommended is from 2017.4 or 2018.4 or 2019.1.2 F1 or greater. Right now I'm using the latest version which I just downloaded today which is 2018.1.10 F1. So if you have something between the versions that I just mentioned, make sure that you, you have those and if you don't have those, make sure that you download them. So the other components that you're going to need, you're going to need the Android build support and you're also going to need the Android SDK and NDK, NDK tools. So get those checked. And then the last thing that I have in here is also documentation. And of course, I'm also doing Lumin OS Magic Leap development. So that's what I have that one set. Once you have those set and you install, you should be able to start working with the Oculus Quest in Unity. So there's additional things that we're going to be doing in Unity. So let's go ahead and get going. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to basically open up the installation. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do that. So I'll just go ahead and open up Unity. And then we're going to create a new project. So I'm just going to click on new. And it's going to ask me what do I want to create this project for? I'm going to keep it in 3D. And then because I'm going to be sharing this code, I'm going to basically put it in GitHub just like I do with every other project that I do. So this one I'm going to call it Unity Oculus Quest Essentials. And if you need to refer to the project that I'm creating, you're more than welcome to download it and then do any changes that you like or use the code for your own games. So then I'm just going to select the location and then just say create. And this is going to take a few seconds here to create the project. So the next thing that you that I would recommend that you have is you go to developer.oculus.com and they have a lot of documentation. Of course, I'm not going to go through every single thing, but I'm going to be referring back to some of these documentation because it's really helpful. And the next thing that we're going to need to do is the integration is in the asset store. And this is the integration package that Oculus provides so that you can basically develop in Unity and also push to your Oculus device. So we're going to basically just click on the asset store and it's going to connect to the asset store. And the first thing that we'll do is we'll just search for Oculus. So I'm just going to go ahead and search for Oculus here. And we can, it's going to be this one right here is called the Oculus integration. And it's of course it's free. And I click on it and I already downloaded it, which is going to, you know, give me advantage. You don't have to wait for me to download it. I just have to hit import. But if you don't see the import, it's because you need to download it. Once it's downloaded, you can import it into your project. And once we hit import, this is what you're going to basically see. It's going to try to decompress the package. And then it's going to tell you that it's going to add all these files to your project. We're going to say, yes, we want all the files. So I'm just going to hit import. And it's just going to import here. It should, stay, it should only take a few seconds. and it's compiling. So in addition to what we're doing right now, we're going to need to change some of the build settings and also some, some of the compression on the images for the build player. So let's wait until this completes and then I'll walk you through that process. All right, guys, so it looks like that completed and now we're getting a pop-up saying update Oculus Utilities plugin. So we're just going to say, yes, we want to update it. We're also, it's also going to require that we restart Unity, so I'm just going to click on Restart. And it's going to also say that we need to update the Specializer plugin. I'm just going to say Upgrade, and then Restart Unity. 
All right, so it should be opening up here in a second. Looks like we're good to go. I don't need the asset store, so I'm just gonna close the asset store. And now if we look at it, we have an Oculus folder. And there's a lot of examples in here. You can look at the audio manager, avatar, lip sync, platform, and then VR, and also scenes that they have already created for you. So the one that we're gonna be working on today, just so that we know that it's working, it's gonna be the room. So I'm just gonna double click on the room. All right, so it looks at like the scene open up. So now let's go ahead and focus on a few changes that we need to do on the build settings. So I'm just gonna go into build settings. Then let's click on player settings. I'm just gonna close this for now. And then what we need to do is we need to change a few settings under the Android tab. So make sure that you click on that. Then the first thing that I'm gonna do is let's go ahead and go all the way to the very bottom, click on XR settings, and we're gonna get some warnings so virtual reality supported, that is basically what we need in this. Then the next thing that we're gonna need to add is basically the Oculus package. So this is gonna be the Oculus SDK, so we're gonna select Oculus. And it's gonna compile and add the SDK for us. There we go. So we're still getting a little warning here saying XR is currently not supported by the Vulkan Graphics API. And we can solve that by going into other settings and then removing Vulkan and just leaving the OpenGL ES3. And if we go to the very bottom, we shouldn't have any more problems. Okay, so this one is good to go. So the other thing that I'm gonna do is let's just change our company name. I'm just gonna say this is Dilmer Games. And then we can just say, we can just keep it Unity Oculus Quest Essentials. I think that's fine. And I'm just gonna do for the version 1.000. Then the next thing that we need to do, let's go back into other settings. We're gonna go to the very bottom and I'm also gonna change the package name here. Games, and then we can just say Oculus. We can just say, hello Oculus. I think that's fine. And then I'm gonna keep it at 1000 there. Let's just call this one, hello Oculus. So that we're consistent. And then the next thing that we'll need, we need to change the minimum API. It needs to be anything above 19. So I try with API level 21. So I'm gonna select API level 21 this time. And I think everything else looks good in here. All right, so now let's go back into file, build settings, and we're gonna change another thing. We need to basically change it to Android. So I'm gonna select Android. And I'm also going to select ASTC for the texture compression because that's what Unity and Oculus recommends. So I'm gonna change that. And right now I don't see my device because I haven't connected it yet, but what I wanna do is just switch the platform. And this is gonna take a few seconds. It might take a little longer than that, but I'll continue the video as soon as this is completed. All right guys, so it looks at like the switching of the platform finish and I'm ready to go. So the next thing that I need to do is change the platform. So I'm going to go into the menu on the top. So let's go to Oculus, platform, and then edit settings. And we need to put in a couple of IDs in here that is gonna allow us to push to our device. So I'm gonna click on this button right here to open the dashboard of Oculus. And I already created an application for us, but I'm gonna create one more just so that you know what the process is. So I'm just gonna say create new app. And this one is gonna say, hello Oculus, test two. And then on the platform for now, we can just do Oculus Go and Gear VR because I don't have access to the Quest just yet. I'm gonna hit Submit. And then the next thing will be just to copy the app ID. And then we'll just paste it here, paste it here, and then uncheck the user standalone platform. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just basically append a number here because I've been pushing multiple versions to the Oculus Quest. So I'm just gonna say this is number two. And then we should be getting ready to build. So the next thing is make sure that you have the USB-C cable connected to your device and also connected to your computer. So you're gonna go from the cable that you use to power and charge your device to the USB-C on your computer. So I'm just gonna say build settings and I'm gonna locate my cable. So now that I have it connected, I should be able to say run on device. So this drop down is gonna show you all the devices that are connected. And we can now see that we get the Oculus Quest. So I'm gonna select the Oculus Quest and then I'm gonna do build and run. We're gonna say, yep, call it that. We can just say number two. 
hit save and it's going to push it onto the desktop and it's going to go ahead and go through that building process so the next thing that I'll show you is running this simulation, this application in the Oculus Quest. All right, so let's just finish building. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the recorder and then we're gonna go into the application. So let me just go ahead and go into my library here. And we can look at unknown sources. And the version that I just pushed was the com that tell my games, Hello Oculus Test 2. So I'm gonna open that up. And we see the Unity logo now, also a pointer, which is my head pose. And we can see that I can now move my hands. I can now turn around and look at the entire area. I'm also moving the joystick so that I can basically move. So I think I'm just going to call it good. And this is what I wanted to show you guys. Thank you. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching this video today. I really had a lot of fun in going through the development setup for the Oculus Quest. So. If you guys have any additional questions about anything that I just showed you, please let me know. And also be sure to check out GameDev.net because they have amazing resources for game developers. Also find me in Patreon.com where I'm basically posting information about what I'm doing behind the scenes and also early access to source code. Thank you very much guys.